This here is another viewer's dirty gaming PC. And when I say dirty, I mean very dirty. So the deal with this one, yes, it was neglected. It was, it looks like it's never been cleaned, to be honest with you. Uh, but one of the root causes of why the dust is where it is in this case is because of the case's design. So you'll notice up front here, the only intake portions of this panel are along the sides, these small little grills, and they are totally clogged with dust. And you have three fans pulling in air up front or attempting to with a glass panel at the very front of this one. That's just, you know, that air is not going anywhere. So what ends up happening is to make up for that difference in pressure, a lot of air will be pulled in from the back where there aren't dust filters. Air is supposed to exhaust traditionally out the rears of mid towers like these. And you can see that dust has completely covered these rear PCI slot covers because air was trying to work its way in from back here. The rear of the graphics card is completely covered in dust. In fact, the shroud itself is, despite this card being pushed so closely to the left side panel, which I'm not a fan of, this card will actually see a pretty substantial temperature drop just by moving it further away from that left side panel, but uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is because I'm not here to fix anything, I'm just here to clean it. Um, even the card, despite being suffocated more or less by that panel, is just, it's covered in dust. It's pulling in all that unfiltered air from the rear because it can't pull any more from the front. And to make matters worse, we've got three exhaust fans at the top mounted to this radiator for this 360 mil AIO. And while the positioning of the fans is fine, right? You typically want to have your AIO mounted up top. Uh, what you've done here effectively is created even more of a vacuum inside. So there's a tendency for that air to want to pull itself in through the slot covers. And when it's unfiltered, you just end up with something like this after a few months to years, just caked in dust everywhere. So we have a hefty cleanup on our hands and I can tell you my allergies are already flaring up. So we're gonna be taking this thing outside first and foremost, blasting it with a leaf blower. I'm gonna be careful with these fans, might tape them up just so they don't overspool if we uh, blow it directly into the shroud uh, and some of these case fans. But uh, it, it uh, yeah, it, it's the only logical place to start, I think, is just trying to get rid of a lot of the loose dust up front and outside, not here in the office. So uh, stick around for the transformation. I think you will enjoy it. Stay with me. Corsair's Xenion 32 QHD 165 is a versatile monitor chock full of leading tech for your gaming and content creating needs. Enjoy a quantum dot color accurate 32 inch fast IPS display with a blazing fast refresh rate of up to 165 hertz for ultra smooth picture. Couple that with a one millisecond response time and you've got yourself a sweet gaming panel. And with its sleek and slim ergonomic profile, which of course doesn't hurt, it's sure to impress on any desk. You can learn more about it by clicking the link below. Howdy, my name is Greg, and this is the PCDC playlist, which stands for Personal Computer Deep Cleaning. Here, we clean viewer systems in and around Orlando, Florida for free. We charge zero dollars and zero cents. And the only thing I ask in return is that they allow us to film these processes. I monetize videos like these on YouTube. That's how I make my money. I don't charge anybody anything else because, well, they're already driving out to meet me and they're loaning me their system for a few days. I'm not even sure what I would charge if I was like a boutique builder slash computer repair shop. I don't know. I have put uh, over a full day worth of work into fully disassembling. Oh, my nose is, it's just like already running. I'm sorry. This is so bad. Oh, it's so like, there's just so much crap in the air from this thing. But uh, it comes out to like, I don't know, I'd say 12 hours worth of labor all in. Um, I split it up usually into two days because I allow things to dry overnight that we have to wash with water and soap. But uh, it's, you know, it, they're, they're fun videos to make. Um, and despite the amount of labor I put into them, you guys do allow that to pay itself off it, like just tenfold. Um, so I'm grateful for your viewership and uh, your continued support on this channel. Now, a few other things I want to mention about this build. Obviously, we talked a lot about the case already. Airflow restrictive. That's why dust is where it is. We have a 360 mil AIO. Obviously, an ASUS Strix graphics card. We'll figure out what card it is specifically when we take it apart. Looks to be either a 10 or 20 series card, maybe a... 1070 or a 2070, something like that. Uh, we have an AM4 platform, so definitely a Ryzen CPU of some sort. Looks like 16 or 32 gigs of RAM. And the power supply, well, I can't tell what power supply is, but we'll figure it out. Now, how do I clean the things that I clean in this playlist? Well, you'll find a lot of my cleaning gear linked in the video description, including things like the shop towels here, uh, isopropyl alcohol, I've got Q-tips, I've got a knockoff iFixit toolkit, and I've got an electric duster. And one of the issues that a lot of folks like to bring up about this is that, well, Greg, this is blowing that dust away. It's not sucking it up. It's not a vacuum. It's, it's a, a duster. Think of it like a can of air. And the issue with this is that obviously when you dislodge that dust, it kind of has to sort of go somewhere else. So where is it going? Well, it's going in the office. 
and that makes for a pretty dusty environment. Thankfully, we have a solution. So this here is a Lavoit air purifier. So is this. And so is this. You can think of these like dust magnets. They're designed to pull air in, filter it, and dish it back out, though much cleaner and dust-free. And what I really like here is Lavoit's 360-degree design and resulting air paths. See, these are designed to filter air from all directions, thanks to circular filters and strong fans, meaning no amount of airborne dust is safe in any room. But for Lavoit, it used to get so bad in this office after filming a PCDC episode that I'd need to open windows and blast my AC overnight to get rid of this mess. This is the dust I picked up after vacuuming my office floor one episode deep without using a Lavoid air purifier. It's disgusting. But thanks to these, I can actually breathe again in here. In fact, place one near your PC and it can actually cut down on dust buildup long term. And that's why you should strongly consider one for your room if you haven't already. And with Lavoid, you're dealing with the best selling air purifier brand in the US and on Amazon with over 50,000 reviews. You can find the Core 300 here along with its larger and smaller siblings links linked in this video's description. So after double checking that the system does post and boot into Windows prior to us disassembling things, which just saves us on headache for later, uh, we are now ready to get started. So uh, stick around for the ride. I think you'll enjoy it. Here we go.
I'm just gonna be blunt with you guys. I am so ready for this one to be finished. Uh, this is the hardest I've ever worked to clean a system. It has taken two full days and I am exhausted. Uh, just there's so many parts in here that, I mean, I know it doesn't look like too much to you guys, but there were so many freaking cables behind this thing. There's like seven fans, including uh, an extra three here. So really there's 10 fans to clean uh, and cleaning each of those by hand is just, it's just ridiculously labor intensive. Um, I spend about anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes, let's say per fan. Uh, and some people are saying, oh, just blast it with air. Well, yeah, that gets a lot of the surface dust off, but there's still a lot of that grime that doesn't come up with just air alone. And I don't want to blast these blades with like a, you know, a compressed air or something like that, like a, an air compressor, I should say, industrial one, because uh, I don't want to break the fin. So that's why I do this all by hand. And it's just taking, it's taking so long. So I'm ready for this to, to just work and We'll call it a day. I'm hoping that the RGB works because that was the only thing I was a bit concerned about. And it doesn't appear to be working. Of course not. So now I've got to go back in there and modify some stuff. Uh, it's probably just the order of cables connected. Who knows? I don't know. I, I, I ran it into the motherboard, so I figured that would have worked. An even bigger issue if we don't get a post. <laughs> so... Any moment now. Yes, okay. Something, something, post, something. I see that little dash right there, but that's about it. <laughs> it's not enough. Um, I, I talked to the owner because I noticed when we first booted this up, it was hanging on the post screen for several minutes and it shouldn't do that. And he said that that's, you know, every now and then it, it acts up like that. So it's not out of the ordinary form. Um, if I had more time, I could probably figure out what's causing this. But uh, I do know that if we let it sit here for a little while, it'll boot into Windows. And I'll be sure to wait to verify that here. So you can see it on camera. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, thankfully, it wasn't too difficult. Again, just uh, mismatched wiring. There's so much of it going on behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, it was just one simple cable that was in the wrong place. So RGB works now. We are good to go. So. Uh, I'm so glad this one's finished. Look, it's all part of the job. I can complain all I want, but uh, you guys like watching these videos, so they will continue to be released. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> I don't end up spending as much time uh, in the future on these. Again, I think it's just because of the fans, just the sheer number of those, 10 in total, right? And um, it's, it's a very large case, many different cables and things I had to clean individually as well. So um, I think it paid off. The build looks so much better now. I love the uh, the synchronization, the RGB across the graphics card, the fans, the motherboard, and the AIO. And, uh, you know, I, I have my issues with the, with the case itself from an airflow perspective, but it's, again, it's not my job here to, to change things around. The owner did things this way on purpose and so be it, right? To each his own. Now I do want to mention one other thing you probably saw me use earlier in the montage. I actually used Windex for the tempered glass side panel. Uh, this case also has a tempered glass basement roof for some reason and then tempered glass up front. Uh, and many of you have been asking, hey Greg, can you show us how you clean tempered glass? Because you don't usually show it in these videos. I mean, it's pretty boring. I usually just take, you know, some Windex and I'll just wipe it down. But that's that's the trick, right? It's to use Windex, which you usually use to clean windows and homes or maybe mirrors and bathrooms. Uh, it works really well for tempered glass. It shouldn't harm the glass itself either. Just be sure to use something soft, maybe a lint-free cloth, or in this case, we use shop towels, but either should do. Um, so if you're wondering how I take care of that, that there you go. Other than that, I think I'm ready to get out of here. If you guys have uh, enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know. Give this one a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing if you have not already. And be sure to check out the video description if you have a very dirty system, anything like this here, and you live in and around Orlando, Florida, and you want a chance for me to clean it for free, submit a form. Again, it's linked in this video's description. My name is Greg. Thanks for deep cleaning with me.